My name is Jan Boerta and in this section we are going to look at workgroups and what they do. A workgroup in the Interaction Centre environment is essentially a collection of people or users as we refer to them in the Interaction Administrator doing something. Now why would we want to create these workgroups? Workgroups generally can be used for routing interactions, so incoming telephone calls for example, being sent to the agent that has been available the longest period of time. You can use workgroups to assign security rights, although we prefer using roles for this for the most part. You can use workgroups for directory services, if you want to add an address book for example to the client for quick reference of users within that workgroup. Alternatively, you can also use these workgroups for ACD functionality which also ties into the routing of interactions, but with more advanced features, things like attaching skills or other attributes. Workgroups are divided into two different types of workgroups. The first of which is functional workgroups, the alternate being a logical workgroup. So a functional workgroup effectively takes interactions, as you can see in the example over here, callers dial into the system, they go into the ACD function, and the call is then routed, for example, to an agent. Now, there are different ways to configure a functional workgroup, first of which is ACD or custom, which is the one that we use quite regularly in call center environments. So an interaction, for example, can come in and then based on the skill of the agent or the availability in the workgroup of the agent, the interaction may be routed to that agent. Alternative configurations also apply, non-ACD functionality, for example, round-robin, sequential, or group ring functionality. The second type of workgroup, referred to as a logical workgroup, does not take any interactions. It is mostly used for administrator functions, for example, assigning security rights to a group of users with some common requirement. Alternatively, you can use it, for example, for directory services, grouping a bunch of people working in a project, for example, together in a workgroup and then assigning that workgroup in your interaction client or interaction desktop as a address book and you can then connect to the users directly from that point of view. Workgroup settings can be accessed under the people container within the interaction administrator. Fourth one down, you have got workgroups. You can add new workgroups or open up an existing workgroup configuration from this point. Details on how to configure both logical and functional workgroups will be discussed in later modules referencing those different types of workgroups. In this section, we looked at workgroups and what they do. Thank you very much for joining me and see you again soon.